Welcome back, everybody, for some more Dimitri Donskoy. So, last time, we uh, started things off with a good old round of Family Feud. And now we're going to be going back to Algirdas and Kestutes, as we have a worthy opponent. War is a young man's endeavor, and no man becomes a great conqueror without being tested from an early age. Alexander slew the Sacred Band as a teenager, and Hannibal and Scipio won their greatest victories before they were 30. And now our great Rus Prince Alexander Nevsky defeated the Swedes and Germans before he was 21. Dmitri faced no lesser challenge himself, but his first great foreign adversary not, came not from the steppes of Asia, but instead from the thick forests along the Baltic Sea. For two decades, Algirdas, the Grand Duke of Lithuania, had relentlessly expanded his realm. With the help of his steadfast brother, Kestutis, they routed every crusader army sent against them and even smashed the Golden Horde at the Battle of Blue Waters. But Algirdas's greatest goal was to conquer all of the Orthodox Ruthenians and bring them under the rule of a pagan prince. One by one, the great old Rurkid cities fell, Smolensk, Bryansk, even Kiev. For Algirdas, Moscow was the greatest prize of all. If it fell, Al Algirdas would soon be master of the Russian lands. His descendants would not be mere Grand Dukes of Lithuania, but kings of all the Rus. But unlike the Crusaders, the Mongols, or the other Rus cities, Dmitri was prepared for the storm coming his way. At just 15 years old, he ordered Moscow's me meager oaken walls to be replaced with a citadel of stone. In Western Europe, lords labor at their castles for years and decades without finishing them, but Dmitri finished the Moscow Kremlin in less than three years. The work finished not a moment too early. M mere weeks after the last stone was laid, Algirdas and Kastutes made a surprise attack at the head of a vast army. Dmitri's handiwork would be tested in the most decisive way possible. All right, whew. I don't know why I like recording these videos just after I work out, but you know. Gotta make sure I have lots of breath. Well, here we are. Ooh, lots of tax. Uh, gaze up upon your swords and ready your shields, men of Moscow. My old friend Mikhail uh, has come to visit. Uh, something, 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 never! Uh, then fight like the great warriors I know you to be. For Vladimir, for freedom, for God, and for Moscow! Holy shit! Okay, okay. Uh, I, I and young Serpukov's Prince Vladimir will guard the south of Moscow from the Lithuanian tax. We will not let our wonder our precious relics fall into the heathen hands. Alright, survive until 12 of the 25th of November. We are currently the 22nd of November at 7. 13. Do not allow the Kremlin Cathedral to be destroyed. Uh, deliver five ox carts filled with food to the Moscow Kremlin. Upgrade uh, Dmitri of Moscow by using him in battles. If you use Dmitri in battle, your soldiers will gain healing from him. You start an Imperial Age and have a max pop of 200. Gunpowder has arrived in 14th century Europe, and the Grand Duchy of Moscow, as one of the most powerful East European states, is eager to use it. Throughout this campaign, you can train both hand cannoneers and bombard cannons. Additionally, in this mission, you can build bombard towers to help protect mighty Moscow's Kremlin. Oh boy! Carefully protect your starting assets. You cannot build new buildings or train new villagers in this scenario. Protect your relics, too. Moscow in this era, era is one of the world's greatest cities, comparable to Paris or London, thanks to the skill of Byzantine architects. It is also one of the best fortified. Uh, at the Kremlin Cathedral, you can gain access to many unique technologies, as well as a special unique unit, the Princely Druzhnik. Uh, Algirdas, Kestutis, and Mikhail have divided their armies between them. Be prepared for a three-pronged attack. Uh, the Golden Horde has stood aside in this conflict, so you can find some uh, Tatars. They may be willing to help you. Uh, Dmitri of Moscow is, uh, well, in Moscow, built the Kremlin, and uh, Dmitri will be supported by Metropolitan Alexius, who will a bunch of stuff. And Alexius is going to take some time to get going. The Golden Horde is neutral, but they are bitter and vengeful over the recent loss to Algirdas at the Battle of Blue Waters, so we can woo them. Uh, Mikhail of Tver remains your main enemy uh, in the battle for primacy in Russia. And he's got stuff. Uh, the brothers Algirdas and Kastutis, co-rulers of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, have arrived with a vast army and stuff. And, uh, yeah, and, and stuff. <laughs> Holy bananas, look at this map. Call me a pagan all you like, Dimitri, but remember, I am half a record myself. Same as you, it's not nice... 
to be rude to your visiting relatives. I agree with you, brother. Let us take uh, something. Oh my god, we have s such a huge pop. I will be the Duke of Oskio. Gaila, who the hell wa Who the hell asked you to show up? So sure, cousin. Perhaps Moscow will be mine to rule Vitautus. Get out of here, you goofball. Okay. So, we have 50 villagers. Um, looks like Alexius is over here. He's protecting our southwestern flank. Yeah, we have 50 villagers and cannot train anymore. Just get a bunch of upgrades, I suppose. Yeah, Moscow is a huge city, obviously. Oh, boy. We have so much stuff. But if we can get bombard cannons, that, that's obviously pretty darn sick. Get chemistry. I mean, the city looks amazing. Okay, there's another relic. Just like trying to wrap my head around everything here. Not often you start with 170 pop. Another relic. Oh, no, no, no. Crap, crap. Get back here, you clown. Okay, so we have Olgir Das, Keshutis, Mikhail of Tver. It's a great autumn day for an assault. Holy crap, it's Olgir Das and Yogaila. Um, got four, five castles. Okay, there's Mikhail. Dimitri's leveled up. I didn't even know we were fighting with him. Okay, let's get you. Oh, man. How many barracks do I have? I assume a lot. Well, eight's enough for the time being. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we cannot build trebuchets. That would probably be a little overpowered. Holy bananas. Uh, I got elite sergeants. What are these guys? Princely Rujaniks. Yeah, there's Dimitri. Healing everyone on up. Okay, we need to fall the heck back. It's good that we can train hand cannoneers because we would otherwise be lacking strong archery range options. Wait, we can get a bunch of techs over here, right? Crenellations, Stirrups, Stronghold, Wagenberg Tactics, and First Crusade. I mean, let's get Stirrups, man. That sounds pretty darn OP. Uh, 
Oh, wait, that's a trap. Okay, getting some stables. Vitautus, you're too reckless. You're going to run our men straight into a trap at this rate. Nah, man, he's doing just fine. Don't be so hard on him. Shove it, Yogaila. You're just mad that I'm going to conquer Moscow before you. Oh, I gotta love him. Gotta love him. Oh, yeah, the ox carts. Yeah, boyars with stirrups. That's pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Okay, we cannot get siege workshops of any kind. I was thinking some, like, siege onagers would be great. Wait a minute. We can build bombard cannons. Oh, I guess maybe just bombard towers. But their cost has been increased to 300 stone. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We have a ton of stone. Alrighty. Of course, we're going to want to get Druzhna as soon as we can afford it. Go, go, Dimitri. He's a pretty badass hero at this point. Ah! How much did the, uh, the Rurkrid guys cost? Oh, got to be kidding me. No! Crap. Forgot to get you. Wait, what? Oh, I was wondering where Kashtutis was. <laughs> oh, shisa. Okay, you know what? We're, re we're restarting this. There's just so much going on, man. Okay. That. Let's gather our armies up over here. Get more of you guys. Oh, these two when they're bickering. Okay, let's just get some of these castles under our hotkeys. Got six of them. Looks like. Okay, or at least with our blacksmith upgrades. Let's get you guys over here to help out. Okay. 
Get that. Alrighty. Bombard towers could be really helpful here. I mean, those are just guard towers, man. Okay, ranges, ranges, ranges. Just go look for some stuff. Get champion, I guess. Got all those upgrades. Okay, looks like that guy did not survive too long. Okay, um, Boyars, you go out and do stuff. Let's get a leap, Boyar. Oh, come on. Ah! Looks like they don't have any relics. At least not yet. It's Mikhail! Get some monks to heal everyone on up in between fights. Lithuanians don't have arbs. These cheater McCheater faces. Oh, I got a Bombard Tower? Oh, you bet. Alright, it's Bombard Tower time, baby. Anyone getting some Siege of Vilnius flashbacks? It's obviously going to be quite helpful. Get Halb. <laughs> You're too reckless without us. This defense needs more bombard towers. I know we don't get bracer with uh, Slavs, but you know what? Bombard towers. Hear me out. Bombard towers. Does this work? Yes, it does. Awesome. Get to add extra arrows by garrisoning these fortified towers. It 
some more of you guys. Yeah, unfortunately, I have nothing good to spend wood and gold on. Like, everything I, I do that's good costs food. You guys back to work. Yeah, the monks are definitely critical. Jacks nearby that aren't doing anything useful. Yep, gotta be careful. Oh no, I'm losing bills. Crap. Villagers, that's all right. I am not going to complain here. You guys should be gathering stone, though. I got tons of wood for now. Okay. Um. First Crusade, I'm not too sure about, simply because... They wouldn't be elite sergeants. Actually, maybe they'll, they'd have elite sergeant research for me. That's a possibility, for sure. You know what? It is okay there, Metropolitan Alexius. Because you've got more Bombard Towers on your way. Look at him go. After a battle this magnificent, it's only fitting that Moscow should go to the first, finest warrior in our army. I speak of myself, of course. If you're such a great warrior, then why does my unit have better stats than yours? <laughs> oh my god, be tow to straight savage. Oh, I love it. That is fantastic. Oh, Dimitri, you're still alive. Yeah, here's Dimitri. No! Crap.
Send some hussars that way, or light cav, or whatever. Oh yeah, let's go First Crusade, see what happens. Uh, Wagenberg Tactics, I don't need... Actually, hold on. Those benefit, um... Oh boy! Go get him, my men! Oh yeah, we clap him. Oh, that choke point. Okay, I could very well need to send some more vills over. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, they're just regular sergeants. Still, I mean, it's, uh, it's an influx of units, right? Can't complain too much. It's definitely, like, worth the resources. More bombard towers. Yeah. Wait, do strongholds affect bombard towers? I don't know. I mean, Celts don't get bombard towers, and it's a, you know, Celt castle unique tech, so. There would never be any actual application except for, like, you know, custom scenarios like this one. Oh, no. Crap. Oh, no, don't be deleting everything. Dimitri, you paid your tribute ahead of time. Oh, boy. Well, we tried. Could mean this area could be under threat. Oh, hey. We're doing just fine. Oh, of course they have to frickin' come in this way. Why? Where are we at? Vlad Dracula just training Vlad Dracula. Go, go, Drusiana. Oh, it's so good. Still, we're running out of units.
Well, we're giving it the old college try. Lithuanians don't freaking get orbs, man. Oh, where are you guys going? Thankfully, you're ignoring my villagers. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Well, you guys made it through. Okay, we have tons of units over here. Plenty over here. Hey, hold on. That's not a location I'm used to there being ding-dings from. Yeah, but what was going on with the Golden Horde again? Uh, what a champ. Uh. Oh. Oh! Yeah, I completely missed that in all of the hullabaloo. I could certainly use some help. Damn, Kashtutis! Um, okay, gold, gold, gold! So what, you're just gonna help me out now? That doesn't seem like it's worth 2,000 gold. <laughs> At least not for a while. Maybe they're attributing us resources as well? Oh. Back to mining. Okay, you are out of gold. There's some over there. So they train Keshiks and Elite Mangudai? That's great and all, but. Use some help! How are you guys holding out? You guys are looking a little low in the numbers department. Twelve AM of the twenty fifth. We're on the twenty fourth. And so we have to hold out Oh, it's okay, so it's like what, almost two AM? We use twelve hour clocks here in Morica.
I mean, okay, it's probably an hour. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, it's probably an hour. Oh man, stir up boyars. You're doing really well, Dimitri. Let's hope you never have to survive a siege from us, though, eh? You know, just like old times. Wouldn't that be fun? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You know we Mongols. <laughs> oh my god. The writing. Oh, I love it. Freaking love it, man. Feed the little Dimitri, Russia has chafed on for too long under the Mongol yoke. Once I hang your corpse from the walls of your own fortress, I will take the Khan's Jarlig for my own and then lead Russia on a crusade against the Horde and stuff. You know, right over here, Mikhail! <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, yes, well, or, you know, that was a joke on my part. Just a grand little joke. You know, I'm a loyal servant of the great Khan. Oh my god, this humor. Can't take it. There needs to be, like, a, a late-night show that's, like, you know... Eastern European rulers of the 14th century. Crap. Okay, now things are really falling apart. Oh, wow, they're even sending units to actually guard it. Okay, that's actually quite nice. I conquered the city. I'll build an empire so the mighty 650 years ago. Oh my god. Oh my god. A Polish girl has a better chance of getting a campaign than you do. Oh my god. All right, we're at 7 p.m. The horde sending uh, sending in the boys. Oh, there's probably another thingy over there. Ooh, that was a very much appreciated infusion of resources. Alright, I, I think we're gonna hold. I'm still waiting for that late night show, though. Almost 10 p.m. Just another two hours. Getting attacked from all those different angles. Yeah, Kestutus is definitely the scariest enemy. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be the case, but it is. <laughs> like, look at Kestutus's score. It's like Mikhail and Algridas, it's, you know, kind of around the same, and then Kestutus is like way, way stronger. Well, I mean, I mean, I guess the Mongols are doing all right. Oh yeah, these, these guys, they're, they're real champs. I know they don't actually have any champions, but you know, they're real champs. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Okay, so it's a little bit less than uh, an hour, I guess. All I know is that the answer to everything in life is more Bombard Towers. New villagers? Oh, just in the nick of time. Oh, those bills all died.
It's weird because it's 12 a.m. here, but they use a 24 hour clock here. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, I have a long, I have a little longer left. My bad. Yeah, probably is exactly one hour. Now I've got the matrix being set up. The guys can't really defend themselves, though. But honestly, the Mongols are doing a great job of fending off Mikhail of Tver. Holy bananas, that's a huge army. Guess they're trying to loop around over here. Defend! Not too much longer. I mean, I guess I could have gone for Cav Archers. Those don't cost food, but... Going Slav Cav Archers doesn't exactly feel like an exciting proposition. Zoomy Zoom Sea Dram. Okay, kind of need you guys down here. I mean, all your DOS is breaking in, but very slowly. I'll probably reallocate my forces, though. Oh, hey, Dimitri's still alive. Good to see. Oh, yeah, you guys are protecting the hell out of this thing. cavalry. I do like how the three different factions throw three very different armies at you. Like, Kestutis has, I mean, both the Lithuanian for forces have uh, the Leche, but this is like mostly foot soldiers, trebuchets, onagers, bombards, whereas Algirdas has all the cavalry and uh, trebs. And then, uh, of course, Mikhail is uh, Slav stuff. All right, so it's what, 9 p.m.? So it's more than an hour. Yeah, go, go, Dimitri. Oh, now you're breaking in on this side. Num, 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 num. Oh, crap.
I mean, it's no Siege of Vilness, but, uh... You know, it's, it's, it's seven Bombard Towers. Alright, a little more than an hour. Or, no. Wait, this... It, it should be time, right? Until 12 a.m., 25th of November. 12 a.m. It, it, where it's come and gone. Or, oh, I guess it's just 12. So that would actually be 12 p.m. Which is noted for not being 12 a.m. Okay. Thought we were just gonna kind of cruise our way to victory. Clearly that's not going to be a thing. Still got a little while longer. Where do I even still have villagers working? Who hasn't, who hasn't died at this point? Yeah, you guys are, you guys are, are doing alright. I guess they're worth the 2,000 gold. And if I could do a better job of protecting blue, I probably would have had an easier time as well. I mean, the population, it's looked better. Got him. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, I'll take those resources. Come on, Golden Horde, help out. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Now that's more like it. Seriously, where the hell do I have villagers? I can't find them because they're not idle. <laughs> I guess I could go to the eco map. It's just a market. Uh, new villagers. Well, I know where those guys are at the very least. Yeah, no idea. We still have another three and a half hours left. This is definitely not just smooth sailing. Oh crap. 
Dimitri, level up. Oh, so much for that. I mean, we really can't hold out all that much longer. Them. I mean, this is a pretty darn sturdy core. We have a castle and six bombard towers, and of course this uh, fortified wall. So I, I'm pretty sure we're fine. Yeah, we only need like 20 more seconds. Do you feel that cold wind, brothers? Our mighty Russian winter has arrived, and the Lithuanians must abandon their siege. Algirdas is retreating to Vilnius. We are victorious. Yay. Phew. For three days, the Lithuanians pounded relentlessly against the limestone walls of the Kremlin. Without sentiment or hesitation, Dmitri ordered Moscow's lower town burnt in order to deny any shelter or relief to his foe. The sound of battle, the pounding of stones thrown by siege engines, and the screams of dying men were enough to deafen any man, even a great prince of Moscow. But Dmitri's new walls held firm, and with winter approaching, Algirdas could not settle in for a long blockade. The Lithuanians, frustrated on the brink of their greatest triumph, broke camp and returned to Lithuania. Twice more Algirdas would invade Muscovy, and twice more he would fail as the Kremlin walls stood impregnable to every assault. Eventually, the two rulers would conclude a peace agreement, acknowledging one another as equals in a battle uh, in battle and in statesmanship. Young Dmitri had survived his first great challenge. Barely 20 years old, the prince was a living legend among the Rus people, the man who had saved them from a pagan king. Yet Dmitri himself remained a humble, pious, and young man, eager to share his glory of his victories with, and his allies and with God and stuff. And as Dmitri's legend grew, the dukes and princes of neighboring lands saw a man who did not need to be their rival and enemy. They saw him as a man who could be their leader. Oh boy. Now that was a KD. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Kestrutis definitely was the strong one. Decent relic gold. Anything we missed on the map? Oh, there actually were relics. Or there was a relic. Anyway, these guys just kind of have camps. But they've got bombard towers, castles and stuff, and you know, you're, you're not really gonna be breaking this easily. Here's Algirdas. I guess there was an ox cart over here. I guess we probably could have gotten these winged hussars and villagers maybe in support. Probably could have been a thing. Yeah, wow, that was a fantastic scenario. Yeah, that, that was that was great. The gameplay, obviously the writing, the, the vibe, the design, yeah. Really, really, really fun one. Yeah, great, 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 great. Kind of a redo, but in a completely different way from, you know, the, the DE version. Anyway, guys, that was a worthy opponent. Next up will be um, the Day of Union. See you guys next time for that one.